Good day, my dear. Today I will answer your questions about preparations for Christmas and the New Year. After all, we all want to be fully prepared for meeting these cheerful, beautiful, and most importantly, energetically saturated days. So dear, I offer you to make a test diagnostic. Are you ready? Have a look at my magic table. On the table I have created a special magical space, a circle of shamanic tarot cards, wisdom of ancestors. I know that many of you know these cards. Some of you even use them for everyday predictions to find out what the future holds for you. If you feel the special power that comes from these magical cards and want to learn how to work with that energy, please write to me. I will definitely teach you how to do it. If you come to our seminar, you will see that we hold classes there in order to feel the energy of these cards and help your lineage. In the center of my magic table are special amulets of power. They are shells. Look at them. Each of them carries the energy of the main shamanic deity. I suggest you now intuitively choose one of these shells or a star. What will be the first thing that catches your eye? Please remember this object so that I can then tell you what it means and what you need to pay special attention to. Please make your choice now. Once you've chosen, let's see the energy of which deity you need to attract into your life now in order to be prepared to celebrate this important transitional period. Those of you who chose this seashell, look how magical this shell is, how much energy of health it carries. This shell represents the god of the past. This means that now you need to pay special attention to revisiting your life and leaving something old and unnecessary in the past. For example, old grudges, maybe old things. Imagine that old things, which you do not use for maybe a year or a year and a half now, take up energy space in your volume of well-being. Since they occupy this space, something important cannot come into your life. I talk about this in more detail in my seminars, so you need to pay special attention to getting rid of something unnecessary. Maybe it's unnecessary things or even unnecessary relationships that have exhausted themselves long ago. You might feel that you want to open a new chapter of your book of destiny. Pay special attention to your health. I recommend that you do practices of contrast showers and breathing. You can watch all these practices on my YouTube channel. Use this energy, tune in to the God of the past in order to leave in the past everything unnecessary that weighs down your heart. If you have chosen this star, this beautiful magical star, Know that it is the star of blessing and the energy of the goddess of the present. Dear, if you have chosen this star, it is very important for you to tune in to things you want to keep in your life. It is also the energy of youth and beauty for women, for you and me. I recommend you take healing baths make sure you do an Aphrodite massage in order to be infused with the energy of health and beauty. I talk about it in my webinars. You can learn this knowledge to make your face always radiant. Eat the right food in accordance with what I tell you in my lectures about correct and healthy nutrition, 
according to the energy centers. You will notice that the power of the goddess of the present will give you the energy to celebrate the new year properly. If you have chosen this shell, you know that it is the energy of the god of the future. It's coming towards you. You should know that if you have chosen it, you really need to think clearly about what you want in your life, where you want the energy to go. I recommend you do a special shamanic ritual for good luck to open all the roads for your future. You can also make a collage of your future because it's very important to know what you want. Just in case you don't know what you want, make sure you write to me. I will help you understand your goals, your desires. During the diagnostics of your predestination, I will tell you what your soul came into this world for and what awaits you in the future. Those of you who have chosen this shell, which is like a mountain that stretches into the sky, know that this is the God of eternity. If you have chosen it, now is the time for you to tune into a state of sincere prayer for your lineage, for your country, for all people. It is the discovery of your high predestination, service to people, charity, your help to people and this world. I recommend you do a prayer meditation for the whole world every day. Under this video, you will see a link to my new video on how to pray correctly how to tune in so that all of us can unite together in a single heartbeat. I encourage you to find those people who need help. You know, not all people will have the opportunity to celebrate the new year in warmth with their families. Find those people. Maybe you can write to them. Maybe you'll tell them about our webinars and my YouTube classes. Maybe you will share all this with them to infuse the energy of faith, hope, and love into them. Or maybe you'll just feed someone or give them clothes. I don't know how your heart will manifest itself, but if you have chosen this shell, it means that God is knocking on your heart and asking you to help other people. I am often asked, what is the right way to do charity? Unfortunately, this concept is distorted in today's world. They think that charity is just about raising money and directing it to help people. But that's not always the case. When you come to meet me, I will tell you and teach you the cosmic laws of how to do charity with your heart. This is the cosmic law that no one, except the shamans, will tell you. I am waiting to share it with you, to teach you how to do good, to open your heart, not only to your own, but also the heart of your whole lineage. My dear, now, each of you has received special recommendations on what you need to devote special time, special energy, special attention to, in order to prepare for the meeting of the new year, a new page of your destiny, so that your life will light up like this lamp. Let the fire warm your hearts. Let the fire warm all your loved ones. Let your home become a real warm place where your family gathers. Dear, I wish your lineages prosperity. And remember, we shamans always pray for you. You have gained new knowledge 
And now, it's time for you to become a ray of light to new people. Share this video with them. Invite them to become part of the field of love. Come with them to our classes and seminars. Help others, and God will help you.